What's going on everyone? It's Brandon with Code Fine Jewelry, short personal jeweler. In this video, I wanted to review the thicker rope chains for everyday wear. At what width or thickness does it get a little bit too much to where you're getting those Mr. T style comments? I'm gonna do the best to my ability to review those for you. With that being said, Let's get started. Rope chain is the most popular chain in the world, so it's important to make this review because people want to show off this beautiful style chain. Let's get the basic B-rolls out of the way across screen, and these are the widths that I consider are good for everyday wear and are on the bigger side. Now, that is just my opinion. Everyone's gonna have their opinions, so I put four chains. We have the six millimeter rope on the left, six and a half, seven and on the far right is the eight millimeter rope chain. In my opinion, these are those bigger style rope chains for everyday wear. Another B-roll on my neck, I have the six millimeter rope chain, 20 inch, six and a half millimeter, 22 inch, and seven millimeter, 24 inch, eight millimeter, 26 inch layered. Looking nice for you guys to kind of see the difference between the width as well as a length reference for you guys. These are the most popular lengths. And then I always like to show because when comparison, comparing the smaller of the items to the bigger of the items, there's a huge difference. The six millimeter rope chain on the left versus the eight millimeter on the right. So it is night and day difference. Um, I just like to show that because as you go down from the six to six and a half to the seven, six and a half to the seven, there's not a huge difference kind of visually, but if you just split them and then show the smallest and the biggest, you guys see there's a huge difference there. I'm gonna review each width separately in its own clip. Let's start off with the six millimeter. I got it at 22 inches so you guys could see kind of how it looks while I'm talking reviewing it. The six millimeter historically has been my favorite size rope chain, guys. When we ordered 22 karat last year, I really ordered that so I could get my favorite all time width rope chain in 22 karat. That was a huge goal of mine and I was happy I did. But for me personally, guys, I sell gold. I make more money when you buy it and I make more expensive, heavier chain, but I gotta keep it real with you because I'm a subtle guy. Um, the eight millimeter, although I'm a bigger guy, it just doesn't work for me. The six millimeter to me personally is the best as far as showing off a nice rogue chain and the ability to wear it daily even if you want to sleep in it the six millimeter is perfect i can't personally and honestly say that about the larger size we'll review but that is why the six millimeter is perfect because i feel like even at a distance you're gonna see it is a rope chain so in my opinion, the six millimeter is perfect for that subtle everyday wear. But again, it depends on the person. Someone could be a lot bigger than me and the six millimeter is gonna look like a three millimeter. So like I said, it depends on you. Don't do what I think or what I like. It's That's why I'm making the reviews, taking the time to show different sizes to give you guys a comparison. But overall, the six millimeter, even when you see it tucked in, the thing about rope chains, even when you tuck them in, you're gonna have that imprint on the chest through the shirt. Um, there's not that much there and it's even more subtle around the neck. So that's why I like the six millimeter. Next, we have the six and a half millimeter, guys. And honestly, it is significantly bigger than the six millimeter. And it's kind of surprising, but it just feels it, it looks it. I'll put across the screen the six millimeter 22 inch versus the six and a half millimeter 24 inch. Uh, making the B-rolls, I was trying to check to see if you could really tell the difference. If you look closely, yes, you'll see a sizable difference, but just wearing this chain, it feels a lot bigger, heavier, um, and visually, you're gonna notice that rope chain pattern more. It is a heavier chain. Honestly, if I was to wear this for a couple days, I could definitely get used to it. It's not overpowering in a sense where it'll bother me, it's too much weight. I don't think it's too much weight at all. So if you kind of want something just to stand out a little bit and of the Jacoji top rules of rules you need to follow, always go up bigger than what you originally kind of planned because these do look bit bigger on video and camera. So the six and a half millimeter, it is easy to wear daily. Um, I just always love that six millimeter, but I could definitely see myself getting comfortable with this size, even though it is bigger. And then on my neck, you see it. Um, I tuck it in. It's not overpowering as far as if I just want to be casual, tuck it in. You have a nice um, a neck shot there, and then the imprint isn't crazy. But the thicker it is, guys, the harder it is to hide that gold chain um, for casual wear. So that is why it's important to show this in all these different aspects of 
wearing a thicker style chain so you can get comfortable with it. But overall, six and a half millimeter is a nice size. Next is the seven millimeter, 24 inch. This is a nice chain here. If you're a bigger person, want to flex a little bit more, the seven millimeter is it. Honestly, this is probably my cutoff as far as what I would do personally. Uh, because it still is not huge if you just look at it. The further I get, the smaller this chain gets. Um, but overall, it is a bigger style chain and you have to be comfortable with that. If you see it tucked in, there's no hiding that gold. Trust me with this seven millimeter rope, it's gonna imprint on the shirt and then this, the neck check, on the side, you're gonna see a nice, beautiful Jacoji rope chain. All those diamond cuts, the high quality rope chain that you want, you're gonna get even when you tuck in, you just can't hide it. So if you want something that's a little more oversized, the seven millimeter is it. I don't think this is too big to wear daily. It's gonna bug you. It is preference, but seven millimeter overall, it's not crazy big. When I was doing these B-rolls and just focusing on the chains itself and thinking kind of what my take was gonna be, I was like seven millimeters too thick, but as I'm wearing this kind of just around, it doesn't look bad at all and I don't really feel the weight as much as I did when I was doing the B-roll, just kind of focusing on it. So you're not gonna go around all day focusing if you feel the weight around your neck or not. You're just kind of living your life. So the seven millimeter rope chain, 24 inch, is definitely nice. It is on the thicker side, so if you're a bigger person, this might be good because this is gonna look like that six millimeter rope. So you gotta keep that into consideration. This is the eight millimeter, 26 inch rope chain. Guys, it's just too heavy, too much rope chain for me personally, daily wear. Now, I have a collection of bigger chains when I go on vacation or when I wanna do a fun video, I wear them, but I'm only wearing them for a short time. I'm not wearing them daily and I'm certainly not sleeping in them. I'm just wearing them to show them off and it's fun. That is why if we were talking about bigger size chains for that occasion, we would look at the 10, 12s and 14 millimeter ropes, have a good time with it because it is an awesome flex. But overall eight millimeter is not for me for daily wear. I don't think it's subtle at all. It's very tough to, to tell you're gonna get comments about that Mr. T look all the time when wearing this. People are gonna make comments all the time. So if you expect that or want that, um, are okay with that, then the eight millimeter is good. But my personal opinion, eight millimeter is too thick, at least for my size, to wear daily. I just wouldn't do it. I like the chain, I respect it, just not daily wear. Personal opinion is the six or the six and a half millimeter rope chain is the best for everyday wear. Showing off some nice Jacoji rope chains, the 22, six millimeter and the 24 inch, six and a half millimeter. It is your preference. I gotta be honest with you guys, these are the chains I would pick, recommend to you as I'm doing right now. Of course, like I said, I can recommend the eight millimeter, but I think for me personally, just a little too thick, heavy, showy, for everyday wear, you gotta be comfortable with doing everything, sleeping, going to the gym, showering, all that stuff with the chain, and I think these ones right here are the best for everyday wear. Drop a comment down below what you guys think what your favorite rope chain is for the thicker stuff for everyday wear and why. That's it for today's video, and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.